Let's face it, the other box on WordPress is pretty dull and there's not much customization going on there. Well, there's a plugin that can fix this that's called Authority. And right now it's on a lifetime deal, so we gotta check it out. Hey, what's up everyone? My name is George and this is Authority. It's on a lifetime deal right now and you can grab it from $39. Now, I think the deal has a really good pricing because what you're gonna get is actually worth what you're paying for. So for example, you get access to the pro plan with this lifetime deal. And the tier one, which is $39, gives you access to 10 websites. So that means $3.90 per website, which I think is pretty good for a lifetime. Well, it's so, which I think is pretty good for a lifetime, all right? There's also plan two and three if you need more websites, but you do get all the same features, just more websites. So do consider that maybe tier one is more than enough because maybe you're not going to use this plugin in every single one of your websites, but you have the option to buy it by plan two or three if you're an agency, all right? Now, this is my test that I ran right here. I have an image that I uploaded, random image, my name, my title, some social links here, my description for my bio link, which is something pretty much basic, extra bio links, and a little like this like box that they provide also. So that's kind of aside from being an author box, but they provide that tool included in this deal okay now before i show you how to set this up let me show you the sponsor for this video which is hostinger where i'm using author c on the wordpress site and if you want to grab a hosting plan do check out that link in the description go to hosting go to web hosting and in web hosting we're going to be able to find the plans that they have available that are really affordable in this case i'm going to recommend the most popular one which is the business plan that's it that's 3.99 a month and i'm going to show you how to apply an extra discount coupon code to save a lot more okay so the first thing that Hostinger is going to ask you is how many months do you want to pay in advance? I recommend 48 months and it's not because I want to make you pay more. It's because you're going to lock in the lowest price, lowest renewal price, and you'll be good to go for 48 months. Now, in this case, this is the total. But if you add my coupon here and apply it, the price is going to drop even lower. So right now with the coupon, it's going to be $172 with 37 cents. So use the coupon code if you plan to grab a hosting plan on Hostinger. All right. Okay. Back to AuthorC. I've already installed the plugin and it's enabled. And the first thing that I would recommend to you to get started with AuthorC is creating an author. And why is this? Because when we create an author, we're able to run tests over here and go ahead and refresh it and see how it actually looks. If you don't have an author, you won't be able to visualize the changes. Okay. So first do this. Okay. So I'll just say test, test, and a random email for this. Let's select the role, in this case, an author. Let's create the author here, okay? And then you're gonna add your avatar, your name, your details, your designation, for example, CSO, CFO, etc. here, author description, your social links, your extra bio, and your password and security in case you wanna enable that there, okay? Now, in this case, I already have an author, which is this one, my name, George Aguilar, where I have this random image, just some basic information here. I've added a few icons in this section. Now, well, social links or icons, you can, do any of those okay now one of the things i really dislike about this deal is the icon selection now it has kind of like a search feature but it doesn't work so for example if i want to type in fire it does work but if i want to use facebook for example oh it did work this time all right um let's use git for example okay so i stand corrected okay so now it is working okay so i got git right here i'm going to use that for example add my link the color and the background color and that will be over here, okay? So that means that what I like about creating the author is that we're gonna be able to run these tests, refresh, and make sure that everything is working correctly. Then you got your extra links where you could just randomly type something and add the extra link right here. And you can just select any icon that you want, and those are gonna be in the bottom over here on extra links and not on the top as the main social links. So it's kind of like separator, right? Password and security in case you wanna enable that, okay? And once you have your author ready, the first thing I would recommend is go to author box layout so you can designate how you want your author box to look. So for example, you hover over these and you got some styles. Let me go ahead and select this one really quickly. Let's go ahead and save this. Go over here and refresh it. And we have a different style and look here. So the idea is to have this ready, make some changes, refresh it, and actually visualize how it's going to change. So I really recommend creating the author first, okay? So play with the boxes, see what style you like the most. And right now there's only five styles and I hope they add more in the future. Then you have your layout customization. So you can add a wrapper padding for this, a box radius, if you wanna round those off, box background color, which I think looks really bad. So if I change this color, for example, I don't know, let's use this yellow one, uh, orange, right? Let's use the orange, let's save it. Let's go ahead and refresh it. It's gonna look really bad. I really think that 
that they should really remove that. Okay, let's use clear. They should add gradient options or images for this. So you kind of select something that looks really nice and not those really solid colors that don't look good on sites. So I hope the founder takes this into consideration. Then you have options for profile image, author name, designation, and the idea is that we can turn these off in case we don't want to use it. We can change radius, we can change font size, margins, designation, and icons. You can change the sizing, etc. And all these settings are designated for each one of the sections in the author box, okay? So let me go ahead and save this, and I want to remove that orange from there because it looks really bad. Okay, here we go. We're ready. Now let's come back over here. You also have the option to enable author on hover. I really don't know how that works. I've enabled it, tried to test it, and nothing happens. So I'll let you know in the description if something changes or in the comments, right? Now there's also the style option here, which sets the primary color, secondary color, and the option for CSS, which I think is a really big deal if you want to really highly customize the look of the other box okay so you have this option available here which comes with the deal all right once you set all that up you also have the option for likes and dislike i think this is aside from being an author box or an author plugin but they included this which i think is a really good idea so if you enable this you get this option here where you can rate based on that okay so you can display this on different sections you can position this after or before the content you can set restrictions for this so they don't pull twice three times etc so right now there's no restrictions, but you can do by cookie, IP, and logged in users could only vote here. Then you also have the option to enable for social share. If it's a positive vote, you get social share. Let me show you. So here it is, positive, and we got the social shares. We don't have options to modify this, okay? Let me go ahead and refresh this. And if it's a dislike, I have the option to give feedback. So these are the options that you get by enabling these two. You can disable them if you don't want to use it. So it's a good option to have those there. And the last thing I want to show you on author authorly is the short codes. So just in case you want to add one of these sections like uh, like this, like somewhere in between a post or somewhere in just randomly and not have it enabled everywhere, you can generate a short code by doing this. OK, here it is. We have a short code there. And if it's for author box, we have the option to select the author or the authors and then select the style and we get the short code. So that style and particular author is going to be tied to this specific code. So you can give that to your author in case you want to have them manually at the author box somewhere between a post instead of just designating it straight in the beginning or the end. And it's an option that you can have there available in case you want to do that. Okay. But that is author C. So it's pretty much a beautifying plugin for the author box and that extra feature that you get for the like and dislike option for rating. But there you go. That is Author C. If you want to check it out, the link we provided in the description. And if you want to grab a hosting plan, don't forget to use my coupon code. And that's a wrap.